Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride Hey guys and welcome to another eventing vlog This time it is the Riding Club Qualifiers at Launceston which we all know how much we like Launceston. Yes, we do, Nala. You haven't been Launceston yet. Your first experience. Mwah. We are heading up there tomorrow. It is absolutely glorious today, as it is going to be tomorrow. I think it's going to be a rather hot one. But I am on it today. I am trying to get Lola all spruced up, bathed, plaited, ready. But today, there is also Bicton International horse trials on and I have been on and off watching it all morning maybe whilst I was out riding and leading this morning I was trying to vlog edit whilst also trying to watch that getting far too distracted watching it and I still now I really want to watch it I know that piggy march is on any minute any second so I have set up my mat here as you can see bathing station is behind me so I can listen out and wait to hear her name and then I can run over and watch it. Absolutely loving watching it. I think as well because it's a venue that is close to us. We've been there many times. I've been there, I've had camp there a couple of times and it's just you know the way the horses are going around the course. You actually know it because you've been there. So yeah, it just feels, I don't know, almost like it's a little bit special and just wanted to sort of show my setup this afternoon. Now there has already been a couple of eventing vlogs and I think in both of those I have shown bathing Miss Lola and getting her ready the night before. So I thought I wasn't actually gonna start it now, I was gonna start it tomorrow morning, but I just thought I wanted to show you my setup here this afternoon. So I'm gonna crack on, I'm gonna get the car packed. It's not too much of an early start in the morning, I haven't really sat down and worked it out yet, but my dressage is at 10.24. Now I have got an hour and a half in between dressage and show jumping. So whether I have got enough time then to walk the course and the show jumping, I'm not really sure. I may, I don't know. I can't decide whether to be in a rush for it or not. I've got that to figure out. First world problems, not a problem at all. I just need to sit down and actually work it out and think if I have got enough time. If not, just, get up there a little bit earlier and head out, get it walked and don't have to wear it for the rest of the day. So yeah, just a very quick hi and introduction. And tomorrow Chris is going up with me. We are again traveling the horses separately. Tina is in the hundred and I think she's gonna be there before me because her dressage is actually before me. So I think she will just be finishing her test just as I get into the warm up. Hopefully it will repeat what happened at Pontesport and keep them nice and calm for the dressage as well as the heat. I think that's probably gonna <laughs> help them as well. We are in the 90, as I mentioned, it's a riding club qualifier. So it is a team event, which we all love team events. We love riding club and looking forward to seeing everybody. They are still running it under the arrive, compete and leave. So how much we will see of everybody, I'm not quite sure, but it's just nice that it's a team event. It puts on ever so slightly a little bit more pressure when it's a team event, because you obviously don't want to let your teammates down, but trust me, I will still be riding with as much grit and determination as I would if it was an event that is just counting on myself, especially after Pontesport. I am so keen to complete the day and it be a successful one. I had a really good catch up with Nikki from Be Your Best Yet, life improvement coach, mindset coach, helps me with eventing and we had a really good chat on Wednesday ahead of obviously competition tomorrow. And I'm feeling confident. We've been launched in many a times. We've actually completed the 100 a lot of times there, but I wanted to do a 90 because I didn't want to sort of push us out of any comfort zones ahead of the regional final in a couple weeks time. So I wanted to kind of keep it nice and easy. And I know I can go there and confidently ride around that cross country, around the show, jumping on grass and everything like that. So really looking forward. You're good. Don't you knock my Mac off. <laughs> so I'm going to crack on, get packed, bathed and plaited. Okay, place to ride. That's to say about my COVID jab. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna crack on, keep this going in the background, keep you company and listen out to all the riders going round. It looks like it's glorious weather up there too. And uh, get the pony bath ready and I won't be vlogging anything more today. So I will see you 
more than likely when we're on the road tomorrow morning. I am absolutely loving this weather and I know I said, <laughs> you won't see me now until we're on the road tomorrow, but I've just cleaned my tack and it is looking glorious. It's looking beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I'm doing really, really well. It's about half past three. Lola is bathed, I've done a tail. Everything is pretty much packed except for the things that I just need in a minute, like plaiting stuff. And yeah, everything is all clean and I love it, I love it. So I can pop these, everything I'm gonna load up in the car so I just don't have any of that worry or hassle in the morning. It will be a case of literally just bringing her in, giving her a breakfast and heading off on the road. I'm gonna grab my coffee because I'm gonna go get another coffee, I think, because I think this one might be cold. lukewarm so yeah doing really well for time and it's just the weather is glorious chris is out with a friend watching football so i know that i don't need to rush he's quite happy and yeah it's just i mean just look at it i love mum's house i love it they've gone out as well so it literally is just me and my girls ponies and miss nala and it's lush i'm quite relaxed and that is exactly what you want before an event Exactly that. It's lush. Hello, puppy dog. Hi. Hello. Hello. There is a lot of aeroplanes today because of the G7 that is down here in Cornwall. I've just got to plat and I almost don't... I've been feeling like maybe it's a little bit early to be platting. I feel kind of bad. Oh, that is a low plane. You watching it too i've been i've been ready to plat for a little while um i've actually just been vlog editing in the sunshine and um, the kettle is boiled ideal i just almost feel like i think it feels a bit strange that i'm so on it and so ready early but i really wanted to have like an evening at home and not stupidly late leaving here i was really determined that it, i've got the whole of saturday use it wisely and I had the day off yesterday and had such a lazy day. Come on, Nala, out, out. Mummy D won't be happy if you're in the house making it dirty. Um, yeah, really lazy day, which was much needed and very nice. But I think I'm making up for it today and being much more productive and on it. I've already been and got, my car's had new tyres put on this morning. I think I've done some vlog editing, been watching a load of Bixen. And my pony and stuff is all pretty much ready to go. It really is a B-E-A-U duper day. So nice. There is not a cloud in the sky. I do have a hoodie on, which probably looks a bit weird, but it's that little bit of like coolness in the morning. But I have got shorts on. <laughs> um, I get out my pasty white legs. Just left home. Almost forgot the dog. Thankfully I went to drive off saying bye to mum and I was like, did I put the dog in? No, she's waiting for me on the drive, but obviously she then turned away and was like, no, I'm quite happy to stay here, thank you. Um, bless her. She is getting better with the car. She is now jumping into the car on her own if I lead her to the bottom. So we are getting there. It is slowly getting better, which is really good. Hopefully with age, um, it will just keep getting better and better. So we've got to pick up Christopher from home. Now... I felt like I wanted to do this first before he got in the car. <laughs> he went out for drinks last night, so I'm not sure how sociable he's going to be. <laughs> um, I was a good girl. I actually went out for a meal with friends, a spontaneous meal at our local in Three Milestone, which was lovely. But I was a good girl. I did have one cheeky rattler, but other than that, yeah, I'm feeling much more fresh as a daisy. And uh, I think when Chris came home last night, it made me realise I'm glad that I didn't go out with them. Um, although his was a bit of a spontaneous night out too. So not night out. He was home by half past ten, so it's not late. Yeah, hopefully he's not feeling too bad. I still was up in an hour on what time to leave this morning, but I've gone for seven o'clock. It's just gone past seven now, and so we're on time. And I also thought that gave Chris a little bit longer to recover a bit more. I have got him some food as he's asked. I've got him water, I've got him Lucasade. So hopefully he's gonna be all right. He's probably gonna get in the car and sleep the entire journey up, without a doubt. I'm pretty sure of that, to be honest. But let's, uh, let's go get him. Ah. Uh... 
and we have arrived. It is so glorious. You are full of beans playing your top part as a trailer dog. And I've come, instead of going out and walking across country, which I thought I might have had time for, we've actually managed to park in this field so we're really close to the cross country start and finish. So I have definitely got time to walk it after dressage. So I've just come down and walked the show jumping. Admittedly, they are up at 100 height and I just thought I would get it walked. I don't think that the course is going to probably change. So we're starting over there on the left rain. So we're going to come in, go big around the arena, let her see everything, allow her to stretch like Fred has told me before. Then I'm going to do a circle tight around this number seven, triple bar, get her back on a hock around the corner for fence one. And then it's a nice just curve corner to fence two, which is my fingers not pointing there. And then around, so push her on after fence two, then around the corner, bring her back for fence three, four strides, so spread in, four strides down to number four, then right around, and then it's the double, which is a two-strided double, like we practiced before, spread in, up, right, out. It is on a little bit of an uphill, so just make sure that we really are on our hocks coming around that corner and got impulsion behind us for the spread, making sure that I'm sat back, and then two strides, and then it's quite, it's very easy. I found myself walking and falling in to the left because you know that the green number six is coming up. So I just need to make sure that I've got my inside leg on strong to my outside hand, turn around the corner to fence six, and then it's the triple bar. Again, a nice curve round there. Push her on for a couple of strides, I think, after the upright, then rev the engine and then bring it back onto that and then hopefully get a nice stride over seven. Then another right hand bend to the pink, number eight. So again, I've got plenty of room here to sort of really push her on around that corner, then set her up in the corner. And the last three strides should be nice and simple, even strides into fence eight. And then we have got a seven stride dog leg to number nine, the planks. So I just thought, I walked it, kept my phone down, and then I thought, oh, actually, I will uh, talk it through with you guys how I'm going to ride the show jumping. So that is exactly how I'm going to ride it. It is a nice show jumping. They've actually made the arena bigger down there than what they have before and put up a nice fencing. So yeah, that is the show jumping walk. So now to get back, going to get the studs in, get a bum done, and then it will be time for dressage. Oh, also eat some breakfast. That is also my plan. Okay, so the usual studs. Oh, look, they're already in there from cross country schooling. So I always wear those ones in the front. Focus phone. Always wear those ones in the front. Two of those on each side and then medium chronicle. I can't think what the other dress, I think they're just dressage studs, um, super studs. And then these ones in the bag. It is scorching. Might tell you the other side actually, Layla, so you're in the shed. Just done my leg stretches. Yeah, feeling good. Trying so hard not to get on board too quickly because she isn't going to need much warm up, but there is a bit of a walk down to the dressage because we've managed to park in this field. So <sighs> need to remember that. But yeah, I didn't need as much at Pond School. It's still warm weather, so she's not going to need as much warm up. Just know, got it in my head. I know exactly what warm up I want to do. So fingers crossed, it pays off. 
Our warm up went really well and I was really pleased with the way Lola was going before entering our test. So as I do with every test, I come in on the opposite rein. So we've just done a tight right rein circle before coming down the center line. And as the judge has said, we were fairly straight and active, scoring us an eight. And I have to say around this corner here, this is where Lola quite often could canter if I keep my leg on and she can be a bit like, Ugh, don't want to do it but that was probably one of the best short corners I've ever ridden on her and she felt so good we then came across HXF to change the rain again the judge said that we were straight and scored us another eight and then on to two half 20 meter circles now I do feel that she could be ever so slightly more around supple to my inside leg but otherwise very very good and the judge scored us both seven and a half for both halves Nice counter transition. The judge said that we were obedient and fluent, scoring us an eight. So really pleased with that. I think because our trot work is that little bit more forward and active and a bit more expression that it then led to a better transition into canter. The 20 meter circle, the judge said the hind leg could come under, under her a little bit more, but still scored us a 7.5. And then another 7.5 for our transition down. I feel like she was a little bit against my hand, a little bit above the bit, but otherwise it was good. Another two half 20 meter circles. And again, just I just feel like she could be a little bit more supple to my inside leg. But again, we scored two seven and a halves into canter. Again, obedient and fluent, scoring us another eight. And onto a 20 meter circle which we scored an eight for and the judge said that she brings her hind leg under her better this way oh, we weren't, I don't think we looked that straight there but we scored a 7.5 for our transition down and then around here I was really determined to prepare for this walk transition and it's better it's still got work in progress and it still could be better, but it has been better than what we've done before. And it scored us a 7.5. Then on to a free walk on a long rain. And this is where I just, she could have stretched down more at the beginning of this movement. But I think then when we get around here, she then stretches down. But she's got good swing behind. She's over tracking. And it's like, here, look, she wants to now go down. And now I'm like, no, Lola, we've got to go into medium walk. So we scored a 6.5 for that. And then back into medium walk. And that does look like we've actually got a bit more purpose than what we can do sometimes. And we scored a 7.5 into trot on the final centre line. And our halt wasn't the best. She went to swing her quarters and then I put her back correct. And it scored us a 6.5. That's one way to keep you cool. <laughs> Did they do for you? <laughs> Good girl. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how hot it is. So we've just we've gone through the first field, second field, down a little step, which Miss Lola jumped fine last time. So no problems with that. And then come through and jump that hay cart there in the background. And then we're off down into another bit of water. Another time for you to cool your legs. But it is absolutely a boiling. Ground is looking good. Oh, no, we'll be going straight on. Um, I realise that I haven't actually done a little bit of a debrief of dressage. It's quite nice because I've got like quite a lot of time in between that. So dressage, I haven't watched it back, but it felt nice. She did everything where we needed to do. It was the same test that we were doing at Pontusball. She stretched more in a walk, that's for sure. Um, probably lacked a little bit of swing to begin with, but I think we then got more swing as we went. I can't say I felt like she went absolutely beautiful, but I can't say that she didn't, she didn't feel like a slop. So yeah, until I watch it back, I don't really know. Little Miss Nala didn't realise that dogs are not allowed on the rugby pitch. So bless Chris, he stood back, but I have just seen Gemma and apparently she's filmed it for me. So thank you very much to them, as you would have probably seen it from maybe a couple of angles. Um, 
yeah, very, very thankful and fortunate. She saw that Chris wasn't allowed on the pitch. So, um, yeah, got her other half to film for me. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. It's so nice to be able to watch it back and learn from. But I've just stopped here into another water. It's actually quite nice in the shade. Um, I left all this on, but maybe regretting that now. Um, Nala, you were about to get very muddy through there. So, yeah, right. Back to concentration mode. <laughs> Beautiful. So we just come around there. There's a nice one here. And onto that. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five strides to the bee element. Bye, Miss Lala. And then on to Zitricana. <laughs> I like cow. Come on, Nala. Carry on into another field that is heading home. First horse out on course, and look who I've bumped into. You're getting a regular uh, spot on all the vlogs at the minute, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the course then? Good. Yeah? Scary. This your first time here? Uh, yeah. I'm only going to Oh, bless you. You'll be fine. Here is lovely. Yeah. You'll smash it. What time are you on? How did you dress? Dressage is at one. Oh, you haven't done your dressage yet? No. Uh. <laughs> I wish I was doing 18. Oh, yeah, I but after one o'clock. Well, very good luck to you. And on to show jumping, the second phase. So as I said, I brought her in. I cantered her around on a bit of a longer rein, up out my seat, pushed her on for a bit of medium canter, and then around at that fence seven, I brought her back. And I'll be honest, now knowing what I know after a really good lesson since this event with Fred, I didn't bring her back enough onto her hocks. So I didn't get that flexion to my inside leg. And she's not on my leg here. So like around that corner, I should have really been on my outside leg, pushing around. And you can see that she jumps massively to the right. Um, and that's just because I haven't quite got her really listening to my legs. We do keep a nice rhythm. We're just a little bit almost flat and a bit speedy. We did the four strides in there. But again, you can see that she's still just not jumping as straight as she should be. Then we come around for this double, two strides, spread in, upright out. And she does jump that fairly nicely. Oh, we've got a little bit of camera issue oh, there just because uh, I think Nala was pushing, or oh, pulling Chris, should I say. And then we're disunited, but I kicked on anyway. And really, I, just, uh, I didn't have enough time to change a leg. I needed to ignore the disunitedness. But yeah, it just as much as I think we're in a sort of rhythm, I think we're in a two fast and flat rhythm we're not really much together we're not connected she's not coming through from behind properly and then this the final line we get the seven strides to the planks and uh, yeah just the one down but not the best round Woohoo! You just went clear, you're so wet, but I don't care. 
such a good girl gave me an epic, epic ride. Did you? Made up the show jumping. Made up for the show jumping. Now for the desperate wash off, of course, with the good old cooling wash. Um, which sounds to buy and I've now got it all over my face, but actually it's quite nice for me too. <laughs> No, she gave me a super ride. Chris told me to ride her like a stroller, um, and I think I did quite literally because <laughs> we were a bit up on time. But it's okay. It, um, I think we're gonna have maybe it might be like seven seconds too quick, which is quite good considering I was a minute up on time at the far end. But I was just enjoying it, and she was feeling really super. She had a little bit of a look over fence three, which is just here um, at Jacana bit sticky like you know at the start um and i just basically landed and i like gave her a big kick i was like come on we've got this mum's hiding angry and um yeah she responded really well went down the drop no problem i was a little bit concerned about and she was just super 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 very good just what we needed exactly what we needed a bit of confidence put into both of us so yeah buzzing and she just Oh, she wants food. Nala, wrong, wrong animal. Lola! <laughs> Always think of that belly, don't you? Um, need to go find a shoe as well. I saw after a fence wall. Kicked her on through the gateway and then I just saw the shoe like go phew, like a discus. But, oh, good. Good girl! It is very, very hot for the moment here today. Funnily enough, didn't need this when we were at Pontus Ball. Ice cool gel. to find a shoe. No, don't run off. I've got a little helper. <laughs> got a little helper before you show jumping, isn't it? But your dress size went well. Had a sort little of. bit of... Sort of. Had a little bit of memory blank, but it's all fine, isn't it? It's okay. Um, and then you're going to go on and smash your jumping phases. But first, you're trying to help me find Miss Lola's shoe. Literally, we came out the start box there and out this gateway and all I saw was like a discus fly off that way. Whether a jump judge has maybe picked it up, I don't know, but... It sure landed around here. I know it did. So we are going to hunt for it. No, but I'm just thinking of course coming back. Maybe Kelly knows if somebody's picked it up. Maybe we'll go and have a little speak with Kelly. But I'm sure it would have landed around here. Nobody's on course at the minute as well. So it's a good time to look. Yeah. And it's got two studs in it. We'll find it. It'll be right. Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> Hello, Spritey. Hello. She's going to tell you all about her day. Yeah. Oh, good girl. Oh, you've had the whole field to yourself, the whole bed to yourself. She's like, Lola, tell me how you got on. <laughs> Time for the obligatory, obligatory? I feel like I'm already saying that wrong. Debrief time, basically. I've just been here and editing the vlog, and obviously I'm in a bit of a different surrounding, not with the ponies out in the sunshine, but I thought just get it done now. And I've only just gone through and done the voiceovers of my dressage and show jumping, so feel like it's quite fresh in my mind. So Overall, the day was really, really good. Sorry, just panicking that you are chewing my Mac. Yes, overall, the day was very, very good. I still feel like we smashed two out of the three phases. This time, Pontus Ball, it was cross country that led us down. This time, I feel it was the show jumping. We did only have one pole, but as I said in my voiceover, I just don't feel we, no, not we, I rode to the best of my ability, not what I've been working on. I have since had a lesson with Fred and really sort of perfected my warm up, 
which I'm hoping is going to help us at our next competition. So I just need to get that a bit more into practice and get that feeling that I should have of Lola sort of pulling me into the fences, my leg on, and then keeping her nice and straight over the fences. You could see it so clearly on fence two how much she jumped and that's just because I don't think I turned her enough with my outside rein, outside leg um, and had her suckle to my inside legs. So it's all good, it's all a work in progress and it's just identifying. I'm getting down to like the real nitty gritty of the jumping and everything that we're sort of working on in our training and yeah it's all gonna click and all come together soon. I I know it, I feel it, I know it. Um, anyways, I've kind of started, that's sort of my show jumping debrief, but first of all, obviously we started with dressage and I am, of course, as you can imagine, over the moon to think at our first event, what was that, six weeks ago at Morton, we were scoring a 36.5 and we have just gone out and scored a 25, boom, we have slowly got better and better, I almost feel like that expectation of getting that score like don't be disheartened next time if it isn't as good as that um of course it's very difficult with dressage you always have a different judge and they like to see different things but overall she gave me such a pleasing test and she really felt rideable which is definitely not what i have been feeling in previous tests but we are slowly i feel we're getting more and more rideable that i can really ride with my leg on and she's not tense and feeling like she's just got a canter at any moment. I can get her to sort of, yeah, push on. She was really nice, active expression, everything in the trot. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with our marks. Um, I did think because I've just done the voiceover, I would just, I think I mentioned this in a dressage vlog, but because by the time I finish my test, I don't always have enough time to be able to just say what the overall judges comments were and um, what we got scored for our collective marks. So. For Lola's paces, she got an eight. Impulsion, we got a seven and just had a little bit of an underline of engagement of the hind quarters. So that's fine. That's where the judge was saying that she brings her hind leg under her better on the right rein than she does on her left. Then for submission, attention, confidence, harmony, lightness and ease of movements, acceptance of the bridle and lightness of the forehand, we scored a 7.5 and position and seat of rider correct use of eight i scored a seven i'm gonna be honest usually i uh um higher marks than what lola is so it's okay i'm pleased lola i obviously got the best out of you but um yeah i didn't score as well as she did and then the judges overall comments was lots to like very smart turnout and an exclamation mark boom that's the plats in the bottom um obedient and willing just anybody else really struggle sometimes to read what the judge puts at the bottom. Obedient and willing, more with correct outline paces. Oh my goodness, I can't actually read that. Maybe I shouldn't have done this now. Right, anyways, so that is what the judge wrote. Obedient and willing, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> I'll pop a little box on because... Yeah, I'm struggling to read that so you can see it for yourself and probably be able to read it better than I can. So I've done the show jumping. We just had the one down, but still improvement around the whole course um, required. And then on to cross country. So she was epic out of the start box. She was, I thought she was a little bit tired in the warm up. She wanted to really like sort of stretch down. And I was like, oh, I need to sort of gear her up a bit. But the moment she got into the start box, she was her usual keen bean self and we flew out the start box. We did obviously lose the shoe after fence one, which I never did find guys. I looked, I watched back on the video and you could really see it like almost glisten and I counted how many fence posts it was near and I couldn't find it. So I think somebody picked it up. I did go down to where the organizers were and like doing the dress out sheets, but they hadn't had anything handed in either. So. That one is lost. That is now reminding me I need to order some more studs before our next competition. My awesome fairy oak did come out on Monday and put the shoe back on. So we weren't off and of course she had Monday off anyway. So no stoppage to our 
our plans this week basically um so thank you very much to arthur for coming out so quickly and yeah she was really good we did go over fence three i think i said at the end of cross country and she was just a little bit sticky and when i landed i was like no we haven't got any time for this we've got a combination coming up with a step down that i know lola has had a problem with in the past so i was like we are not having a problem at this again and really like went determined mode and she went through that combination really well no hesitation down the drop really well so we've really chuffed then over the hay cart she flew then through the water again i was just a little bit concerned it was almost very similar to the mound that we had at pontus Bull, coming up and needing to keep her bottom hindquarters all underneath her but we did and we went over it and then yeah she just kind of flew the rest of the course i did obviously I must have, with my determination and my grit, I did just ride a little bit too quick. And I don't know if I'm just out of practice or what is going on at the moment with me and times, but I just didn't judge it very well. So we did end up, I think it was 3.2 time fault for being too fast. We came in at 4.44 and the optimum time, I think, was like 5.07. So that should have allowed us 15 seconds under. So that would have been... 4.52 so yeah just a little bit quick and need to pay more attention to the minute markers I'll be honest I did have a glance at them but usually I'm really like focused on exactly where the minute markers are but because I was just so wanting to get out there and get a clear under our belts and get the confidence that we needed especially after Pontus Bull I didn't pay an awful lot of attention to the minute markers so I was at one point like looking down and thinking should I be this minute or that minute then? And I'm not usually like that. I'm usually a lot more on it. So next time I will be. And well, I definitely will be because it will be our regional final. So I will definitely be taking in and most likely writing them on my hand just so that I have definitely got them there to refer back to. But as I said, we finished the day full of confidence, really happy. Lola is all good afterwards she's been feeling fab again this week and yeah really really pleased I feel like the hard work is paying off that I'm putting into her I think the marks are showing that um show jumping just still a bit of work in progress but we just got that all important clear around the cross country that we so desperately needed after Pontus Bull. so yeah really really chuffed with the day and with Miss Lola it was lovely seeing everybody I do love riding club and team events and yeah, egging everybody on and yeah, just just seeing so many familiar faces is so, so lovely. As always guys, I hope you have enjoyed the whole entire vlog and the little debrief. Thank you to everybody who commented and said that they do like the voiceovers and do like these little bits, the analysis that I do of the day. Um, people said that they find it helpful so hence the reason I am doing it again and will continue doing so so thank you for that feedback and of course if you have liked this one please do give it a thumbs up a cheeky comment and of course hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already but until next time guys I will see you all very very soon bye